Welcome back Salesforce family, Walters954 here with the Platform App Builder Certification Maintenance for Summer 19. What is new in Summer 19 for the Platform App Builder? First up, a new addition to Flows. We can now make dependent pick list selections required on screen. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I'm a fan of Flows. Flows have additional capabilities that Process Builder and Workflows do not. Salesforce has been adding functionality to flows every release, making it better and better. Let's get into my playground org here and check this out. If I look on my account very quickly, I should have a dependent pick list. Based on my industry selections, I will also have subtypes that I can choose from. Let's look at some of the values. This is just one example. Dependent pick lists are very useful in situations where you want to break down big categories or pick list values. Also, obviously, if you have sub genres or categories for specific items. Jumping into my flow here. I'm going to go on my test screen. Add in the dependent pick list values and let's see how we actually get this done. Let's pick an API name. For my API names, I like to do some sort of abbreviation of the actual component that I'm using. For the required values, we have to set the API name of the object that we're going to be pulling the dependent pick list values from. In this case, it will be account. The first pick list value will be the controlling field. The second pick list value will be the dependent field. This will need to be the API name. Then we need to set our fields to required. To make our field required, we need to go down into the required attributes and select global constant true to activate that requirement. We're going to do the same thing for our second pick list value. Let's save this. Debug so we can look at it right now. And here we go. We can see that our industry pick list is required. Now let's see the dependent pick list in action. There you have it. Next up, we have creating flows from flow templates. This is something we were not able to actually use until recently, but you may have seen it. If I go back into my flows, I have already pre-installed a profile updating wizard from the app exchange. I'll hit new flow and we'll see that we get the option to select from that template. This is really cool for a lot of those processes that a lot of businesses have trouble with, like renewals that can be done through flows. Check the trailhead resources and the description below to get this link, which will bring you to all of the currently pre-built flow templates. Awesome, awesome update for all of the app builders out there. We now have more control over the notifications and we can send custom notification using Process Builder. This is awesome. We can send a notification out to pretty much anyone. It doesn't need to be an email. It can be inside of Salesforce, either the desktop or mobile versions aka a push notification for the mobile version. And we can add in any type of text that we want using merge fields and pull in values from current objects. Very nice. Let's show this in action. Let's get into the process builder. Uh, this one should be good. Let's send an update when an opportunity is closed one. Send custom notification. Quick note, just like sending out an email alert, you will have to create a notification type. Notification types give you more control over what devices are supported. As of right now, we only have desktop and mobile, but I'm assuming in the future there will be more specific channels out there. So I already have one pre-made. Let's do user. Let's choose current user for now. We have access to the merge fields.
We can even add information into the text. Let's save and activate this, and give it a test. Let's move our stage to close one because that'll trigger our process builder. Cool, and it looks like we have a notification up here. Awesome, great job closing that opportunity, renewal opportunity created for amount XYZ. Next up, we can see the source of file attachments. This is something that is really nice if you're using service or doing any type of support inside of Salesforce via email to case. Let's check out this case here, which has two different files. The way to get to this is we need to view the files related list. Over here to the right in the source column, we can see where the attachment originated from. For the first record, I added it directly onto the case. For the second one, it came in through email to case. All you need to do is add the files related list onto the cases and this is enabled for you whenever you click on them. Now you won't need the attachments related list anymore because you can differentiate between where the two files came from. Before you had to kind of have attachments and files to kind of guess, okay, this came from email to case versus this was just added on via an attachment by one of your agents. Now we have lightning letterheads or enhanced letterheads, whatever you want to call them. These are with the new lightning email templates. Letterheads and email templates are always a good idea if your organization is sending information out to clients. This will help standardize all of the communication that you have, keeping everything consistent. The examples we have here are company logo getting added or legal disclaimer being put to the bottom. Let's check this out. We're gonna go to the app launcher and type in letterhead. There it is, enhance letterheads, create a new one. One note, you will need modify all permissions. Let's insert an image here. And let me grab some text that I put on the bottom of all of my YouTube videos. There we go. Now, when we go to our email templates, we can select our enhanced letterhead. Let me go to a contact and show you what this looks like on the end user side. They'll go to the related list or wherever they send out their lightning emails. So normally this is on the activity history. I'll click emails. Let me open this up. Down here is the templates button. We'll click on that and we can see our recently used templates. We can save this as a new template. If we click insert a template, we'll be able to select from all of the templates available to us. Let's click the Salesforce mentor one, giving us a warning. And we can see that, hey, everything dropped in here. And I think that's it. Remember, if this video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button, share this out to other awesome admins, hit the subscribe button so you're always updated on my newest videos. And remember, I believe in you.